this is Sade of Sade No Days Off. Welcome back to the channel. We're doing another video with my mother, Elaine. And we are talking about self-care. I haven't done a self-care chat in a little while, so we wanted to talk about beating the winter blues, especially since it's the holidays. And um, I mean, we live, I'm in Florida right now, and as you can see, it's sunny. <laughs> so we don't, we don't have as many gray days mm -hmm. here, but I have a lot of them. We had a lot of them in gray Texas. Days in Texas. Yeah, so we want to talk about how to care for yourself, especially since it's the holidays. And a lot of people, whether you know it or not, experience holiday depression mm -hmm. um, and winter depression because the sun is not out as often as it is during like the summer. So we want to give you three tips for how to beat the uh, winter blues. And first off is you know, my mom and I were talking about it earlier, and when did you tell me that the first thing you do when you are feeling the blues? Allow yourself to feel it. That is yeah. number one. You gotta, you gotta allow yourself to feel. Mm -hmm. I think socially we are um, told that, you know, if you're in a bad mood, you immediately have to just, like, get out of your bad mood. Like, it's not okay for you to feel negative feelings. Yeah, put on a happy face. Yeah. But that's not realistic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, because inside you're dying. So you really need to just kind of, it's okay to feel it. Mm -hmm. Sit down. I mean, you don't have to wallow in it. No, But just sure. sit down and feel it. Okay, what am I feeling? Why well, I'm feeling this way, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and allow that. Because sometimes yeah. it is something just as little as I haven't seen the sun in three days. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that's how I get if I don't get some sunshine for multiple days on end, I start to feel like real kind of bled and I don't want to do anything and I just get real lethargic and all that. So sometimes it is something as small as, you know, I don't, I haven't seen the sun in a few days, so I'm feeling out of sorts. Right. I know for us, we've been um, kind of dealing with a lot this year and this is our first uh, Christmas without my grandmother. Um, so mm -hmm. both of us have been kind of beating back the blues a lot over the last couple of months as the holidays have gotten near. One thing for me when I'm allowing myself to sort of sit with my feelings, I journal. Um, Mom journals too a yeah. little bit, but we, um, we journaling kind of can help you think through when you're having a bad day. Uh huh. Because you can kind of parse out, well, why am I feeling this way? And it really gives you a chance to kind of stop and take um, take stock of what is going on on your insides right um so definitely journaling is a way for you to sit with those things what else do you do when you're just kind of sitting with color yeah <laughs> so i've been coloring a lot because well we came up with this thing that when you're coloring mm -hmm. afterwards you know i write the date down and how i was feeling at the time yep so, so it kind of definitely coloring is a great way is a great stress reliever it's a great way to sort of let yourself feel and be i know um when i do it if i have the need to color i color by my feelings so like i pick out what colors i'm using as I'm paint, uh, painting or coloring or whatever, based on my emotions. And then once it's done, I name it based on what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. So like, this is my mom's coloring book that I bought her. Um, I got this at Barnes and Noble for, off the sale rack for like five or six bucks. And then, so like this one, and I know you probably can't see it very well, but I'll do a cut to it. Um, my mom named it Breakthrough, and it has all these beautiful colors in it. So that's one way to sort of help yourself work through um, what you're feeling. And to go with that, you know, anything creative. Right. Definitely, if you do something creative while you're um, having, kind of working through your blues, I don't know. I, don't, I know for us, we're creative types. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So coloring, painting, photography, you know, or even if it's something as little as listening to upbeat music. And, and dancing around the house. Mm-hmm. That's a good way to get you out of your blues. Yeah, you know? for sure. So Be you, silly. you want to mm -hmm. do something to, to kind of make yourself smile or do something kind of whimsical, um, like coloring, like coloring is very whimsical for, for me. And doing something creative like that kind of allows you again to um, feel your way through 
whatever's going on make some sense of it and then when you like come out of it 20 minutes later just coloring like start with 20 minutes maybe 30 when you come out of it you you'll have a little bit of a different perspective right. when it comes to um your emotions and feeling a little bit lighter at least and most importantly probably is our third tip and that is to get out <laughs> get out get moving don't stay in the right. house get some fresh air See some new sights. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely makes the difference. If you, if it is a gray day, you know, even I, we both walk around Target a lot. <laughs> I walk around Target just to be out of the house to do a little people watching um, and let my mind wander as I'm just, you know, not even looking for anything. So if it is a sunny day and you find yourself with the holiday blues, get some sun. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> so the vitamin D will help raise your spirits and you know our bodies need vitamin D to be healthy. Like we, we're not meant to stay inside. Um, so if it is a decent day outside, go outside and get some sun. If it's cloudy, go for a walk um, because exercising right. releases and You can even go to the mall and walk around. Mm -hmm. you know? And at least then you'll have some entertainment right? to, to watch. Shopping, people looking. <laughs> for sure strange people but yes but you just gotta do something to get yourself moving um dancing around the house if you don't if you really don't want to go outside make yourself dance make yourself laugh like those sorts of things yeah, but watch a funny movie yeah watch a funny movie but do something that is going to make you be physical because it releases the endorphins and that will help you to feel better and allow you to kind of take some stock and you'll look back and be like oh you know maybe it wasn't that bad maybe I just needed to be moving or things like that change of scenery yeah change of scenery definitely helps well we want you to know that um, we understand what it's like to have the holiday blues we understand what it's like to have the winter blues and that there are things you can do to just kind of snap you out of it just a little bit that doesn't diminish the need for mental health but you do need to care for yourself. You do need to care for yourself. It's so important. Um, from our family to yours, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, whatever holiday you celebrate, it's Hanukkah, Kwanzaa is coming up. If you don't celebrate, we hope you just have a great end of the year. And as always, friends, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend about the channel. See you <laughs> in the next one. Bye. Bye.